Ah, so this is my favorite toaster oven. We only had it for about two years. Stop working. Bummer. Wife was already shopping for a new one. I'm like, let me uh, let me take a look at it. So, and I kind of found the problem. Let's start with the simple things. First, I tested over here to make sure I have a power, which I did. Next thing, you follow the power. It goes into the switch that when the doors open, uh, it disconnects the power. Everything stops working. So let's start over here. Okay, I have a, let's go this way so you can see it. So you can see I have a power on one end and I got no power on the other end. So that pretty much solves the problem. You can tell right now the timer is going on, but nothing. The light bulb over here doesn't go on and the heat elements don't go. Uh, so let's show the switch. Please be careful, know what you're doing, at least a little bit. And there's a problem. The light bulb goes on, the heat elements kick in, the fan kicks in. There you have it. Solve the problem. So now I'm going to try to take the switch apart, see if I can fix it. If not, I'm simply, simply going to cut it, short it, and uh, eliminate the switch altogether. I'll see if I can fix it. Disconnect the power, obviously. You don't want to be working on the stuff uh, when there's a power. I already took the screws out, so we try to take, uh, basically all it is, it's a little micro switch, This thing is like really tight. Wow, this is like welded on. Can't get this off for the life of me. Alright, so this doesn't come off for some reason. And I can see the switch is not working at all. Not even worth messing with it. So, we'll just make a... will make things easy. Like I said, have an idea, I know what you're doing. Okay, so basically right now, if I turn, if I open the door, things will still, things will still work, which as long as I know, will be fine. I'm gonna put this back on. Let's strip the ends. I got this neat little wire stripper and wire cutter. Alright, so I need a wire nut. Wire out over here, and that should be more than sufficient for everything. I can reassemble it, let's test it. Oh, 
Let's see. Dose. And it works. Big. Big. Air fryer. You told them. Now obviously companies don't want you to be fixing stuff. That's why they make it almost impossible to take stuff apart. The screws are way the hell over there, so I gotta use this long ass bit and I had to put the extension on it just to get the screws back in, but nevertheless. All right, let me begin upstairs. The rest of the stuff is upstairs. I'll put it together and show it when it's done. More screws. This little gizmo that's called a egg carton helps you sort out the screws. So let me put the rest of it on, show you when it's working. So when you put the thing back together and you don't have any screws left or any screws missing, then you know, you did a good job. And everything's working. Ah, oh, let's have some breakfast.